Hey, what's up guys? So for today's drink, I'm drinking this drink from Starbucks that I got. Now I don't always go to Starbucks, but when I do, I get what's called a Shaken Espresso. I would recommend you get that with a classic sweetener and extra vanilla sweet cream. It tastes amazing and it gets you energy for the, your day, so. Now for today's video, I'll be showing you guys my unboxing and first impressions of the notorious Lapland figure from Apex. Now we all know that Apex makes amazing figures, and the reason why I got this Lapland figure was due to my growing interest in both Arknights and the character of Lapland herself. Being one of the best ranged guards in the game, she has a very interesting backstory that ties with Texas's story at some point, though I don't know all the details just yet. Because I already have the Texas figure, this figure was naturally the next one to get. Starting off, the box obviously was very high quality. The design was very simple and I really liked the added details of the guard symbol on the side as well as the Rhode Island emblem. This figure had a crap ton of tape to cut off but once I got everything out of its packaging, it didn't take long to see the figure's quality. I really like these high quality figures that don't come with too many extra parts. It makes the assembly process so much easier. The first glimpse of Lapland herself looked good and the base plate was very large yet sturdy. The hardest part of the assembly was definitely figuring out how to attach the wolves, but with the help of the instructions, I was able to get them on without much difficulty. The last step was just to add the swords into her hands, which was pretty easy. Now that she's all put together, I've got to say she looks pretty good. My first critique right off the bat is that she's probably not the most detailed figure, and whatever detail she does have is not uniform throughout the whole figure. You'll have some areas like the face to be detailed, but then other figures of her body are pretty bland. But that's probably a common practice for most figures. I'm sure companies might do things differently, or it might come down due to costing issues. But overall, I'm content with the level of detail, shading, and coloring on this figure. I'm happy to say the figure at least looks like Laplin, and you can kind of get a sense of her personality from the way the figure looks on its own. Don't let looks deceive you though, as her true personality is far more terrifying than what the figure portrays. Her face looks a bit more reserved here, almost like Texas's face, but still with a shred of the unknown. I can't tell what she's thinking right now. As for the rest of the figure, I'm happy to say her drip is looking mighty fine, and her wolves really finish out the figure. They're somewhat glossy yet rustic, and the design looks cool in my opinion. You don't want to mess with them. The wolves along with the weapons all match the same colors of Laplin herself, which really plays the monochrome grayscale colorway well. This is probably one of the best looking gray figures I've seen so far. One extra thing that this figure came with was this Lapland acrylic keychain. I didn't even know this was included, but it's actually very nice, and I'm looking forward to displaying it soon. Overall, this Lapland figure looks pretty sick after adding the wolves, and it'll look even better next to my Texas figure. I'm very content with it. Now I'm curious to know what you guys thought of the figure. Was it worth it? Would you smash or pass? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.